Oh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello, my dear friends. Uh, this is example number three for me, and according to your according to your slide, it is example number five. I left example number three and four. Why? Because they were, they were similar, like example number one and number two. So it is example number three for me. Let me read the question. See this one. Alpha Corporation purchase equipment costing equal to one lakh. Cost of the asset is equal to how much? One lakh. So let me highlight it one by one. Cost of the asset is equal to one lakh. So cost is one lakh. How much is the cost? So equipment cost is equal to one lakh. This is one case. Second one, capitalized expenditures are equal to 30,000. Capital expenditure is equal to how much? Capital expenditure is equal to 30,000. So we have, in the previous example, there was no information regarding Capital expenditure, but in this example, we have information. So, life of the project is four years, but it comes under three years macro class, it is five. But if you remember in the previous example, life of the project was five, but was under three years macro class, doesn't matter. So, even it can be for 10 years, but it can be under three years macro class, it depends on the road. Next one, suppose that 10 percentage in saving from the labor cost is expected over the last four years. So that the saving in the first year is equal to 50,000, saving in the second year is equal to 55,000, and so forth. Tax rate is equal to how many percentage? 40 percentage. See this case. In this project, there is no direct information regarding cost as well as no, no information at all regarding revenue, right? So it is not mentioned that the revenue increase. One thing. Second thing, information regarding working capital is not given for us. Two. Information regarding final salvage is not given for us, but only information regarding capital expand regarding cost of asset, capital expenditure, live under the makers, tax rate, and only information is given regarding what saving in the cost. So there is a saving in the cost, again reduction in the cost. But what is the way of reduction? There is 10 percentage saving from the labor cost is expected over the last four years. Each year labor cost decreased by 50 by 10 percentage. So if this is so, saving in the first year is 50,000, saving in the second year will be 55,000, saving in the next year will be, and so on. See how they have calculated. Suppose first year is 50, how they have calculated the second year, second, second year will be calculated in this way. 50,000 plus 10 percentage of 50,000. So 10 percentage of 50,000 become 5, it become 55. So if you want to calculate for the next year, 10 percentage of 55 plus 55. And so on, we can calculate for the next year. So if this is so, <coughs> now let us go for the calculation. Once again, like the previous example, I have given the structure. Initial cash outflow, annual cash inflow, and finally the terminal cash inflow. Now let us put the information here and calculate each one by one. See the tag? Equipment cost. Cost of equipment is 1 lakh and capital expenditure is equal to how much? 30,000. So put the information which we have. Cost of the asset is equal to 1 lakh. Okay, 1 lakh. Capital expenditure is equal to how much? 30,000. In this example, once again, like the previous example, there was no information regarding working capital. So, uh, although we don't have information regarding this one, why this is so? Because this example itself is not for the replacement, so that's why this is 0, 0, and 0. Now, find out the total of these two. Total of these two become equal to how much? 1 lakh, 30,000. So you can highlight it with a particular ink here. So let me highlight in this way. Uh, okay, so this was regarding the initial cash outflow. And for the purpose of, uh, for the purpose of calculating the procession, again, the same value will be calculated. Why? Because it is the total of capital expenditure and, and cost of asset. Now let us go for this one, for annual cash inflow. Let me go one second back to the project. See, the first information that we need is the project is for four years, not for five years. So let me eliminate one column here. Uh, reduce this one into four column. Next, find out the information, whether we have information regarding revenue and so on or not. As you can see, once again, there is no information in this example regarding revenue, but only information is available regarding expenses that expenses decrease by 10% year by year, right? So if expenses decrease year by year by 10 percentage, definitely profit increase by 10, 10 percentage year by year. So the first year, 
decrease in the expenses is this much second year decrease in the expenses is 55,000 and so on and we know the rate that how much it decreased year by year by 10 percentage and tax rate is also how much 40 percentage so now I have the whole information now I can calculate the this one so there is no information regarding revenue once again so give it zero balance and decrease in expenses so it is fine so we have information regarding this one first year it decreased by 50,000 second year it decreased by 55 why it is 55 because see let me calculate why they have calculated 55 percentage or how they have calculated 55 percent, right first year it was 50,000 decrease as we said it decreased by 10 percentage in the next year so 50,000 plus 50,000 into 0 0.1 0 0.1 is equal to how many percentage 10 percentage right so 50,000 plus 10 percentage of 50 become 55 so that is why for the second year they have calculated 55,000 calculate for the next year as well in this manner for the next year 55,000 plus 55,000 into point 0.1 right it means 55,000 plus 10 percentage of 55 which becomes 60,500 become how much? 60,500 for the next year and the same way you can calculate for the next year again with the next year plus 60,500 into point 0.1 which becomes 60,500 plus 10 percentage of 60,500 becomes 66,550 66,550 so now add it please 0 plus this one become the same amount okay the same balance 55,000 plus 0 become again the same balance now let me mention here 55,000 for the next one for example 60,000 60,500 for the next and the last year as well 66,550 so this amount of course like the previous say so we have to calculate depreciation and also before to calculate depreciation what do we call it profit before tax and depreciation but we need to come to this level right so less depreciation how to calculate depreciation one like thirty thousand into the the table and if you remember this uh, was under three years marker class if you remember three years marker class so this was the the rate right 33.3344 and so on i remember the tax so i didn't want to go back to calculation of this one so let me calculate the depreciation like the previous one i will calculate for one of them but you can calculate for the next so cost of the asset is one like thirty thousand multiplied to 33.33 and also divided by 100 why because 33.33 is the percentage become how much 43,329 43,329 let me check out whether it's correct or not 43,329 it is fine for the next year 1,30,000 multiplied to 44.45 right and also divided by 100 so you get the same amount how much 57,000 57,785 I guess 57,785 good or the next year 130,000 multiply to the rate how much was the rate 14 point 81 81 divided by 100 which become how 29,250 29,253 20 sorry 19,253 19,253 and for the last year how can you calculate it 1 lakh 30,000 multiply to 7.41 divided by how much from where I get the rate of tax once again go for the table right so 96.33 so 96.33 right in this way you can calculate it as we have to minus this one so we have to take it with the red color right so let me take with the red why because we have to minus it so please now minus from this one minus this one from this one minus this one from this one minus this one i will take one of them 
in the video and rest you can do it so first one from 50,000 minus 43,000 43,329 how much is the balance 66,21 it is positive 66,21 for the rest I will do with a video but you can calculate it right so it is just a model so in this way you can calculate uh, for the rest of the year so this was the profit before tax but after depreciation so now from this amount yeah as you can see in one of them from 55,000 okay there's a there's a something wrong so I made have to make correction with this one from 55,000 minus this amount right so there was a problem from 55,000 minus this amount this is a negative one so uh, 57,785 how much is the amount? it's a negative amount 27,85 27,85 this is the negative once again like the previous example so we have to take care of this one now for this one you have to pay tax and how much is the tax rate? tax rate was equal to 40 percentage so, so 40 percentage is the tax rate so you can take in bracket that 40 percentage is the tax rate right so we have to calculate 40 percentage tax 40 percentage of this one this one this one and this one as you see like the previous example for this first one we pay tax but for the second one there's a tax saving it means we collect back from the government so click for the first one and then we will take for the next first one is how much 66,000 6671 into tax rate is how much 40 percentage so 2668 2668 for the next year as it is of course uh the positive one the negative one so we're not paying tax we're collecting tax but whatever so we have to calculate it 2785 multiply to 0.4 right is equal to hello one hello one Hello one four right hello one fourteen this is the amount for the next year also easily you can calculate forty one thousand two hundred forty seven multiply to find four forty seven multiply four which is equal to how much sixteen thousand four hundred ninety nine take it sixteen thousand four hundred ninety nine right 16,499 and take for the last year for the last year this one 56,917 multiply to 0.4 which become equal to how much 9107 9107 right so as you know that so we have to minus this two will be minus and this one as well but the middle one cannot be minus why because this is the amount that we have to take back from the government even you can show it with the positive sign now from this amount minus this one i will take for one for the rest we can do it so 66 66 71 minus 26 6, 8 right which become equal to how much 4003 4003 for this one so the next also i will calculate the other because it's a little bit different from this amount minus this one why because this is positive and that one is negative uh, 4 minus 27 85 right so the balance is negative 1671 1671 right uh, remember this is it's still negative so we have to show it with the red one so you have to calculate for the red so in this way you can do the rest as well now once again like the previous one let me add the depreciation right okay so now let us do this one add the depreciation how much was the depreciation this is the depreciation for the first year so now we have to add the depreciation back here add the depreciation this is the depreciation depreciation for the next year how much is for the next so mention all of these Depreciation for the next year, depreciation for the third year, mention depreciation for the third year as well here, 
the procession for the floor there as well. These are the amount of the procession. Once again, we have to add it back, okay? But remember, at this time, we are adding this one, so no need for the red. So we have to take it with the black itself, right? I'll make it black. Now, please add this one. 4003 plus this one. How much? From 57,785 minus this one, how much, right? So I will calculate it here. Then you calculate. I will calculate for one or two, then you can calculate for, calculate for the red. 4000. 4,003 plus 43,329, right? So you get this column. 473,332. 473,332. This was the column. For the next year, we calculate in this manner. How you calculate? First of all, mention the procession. 57,785 minus the column sum of. How much was the minus? 16. 21, right? This is the balance of all. 56, 114. 56, 114. So you can calculate for the rest of So you can calculate in this manner for the rest of it. So these are the cash inflows. So now let us calculate for the last year, right? Last year adjustments also to be taken in your mind. This one. If you see in this example, there is no information regarding salvage, no disposal, no tax, nothing. So everything is zero, right? So if everything is zero, it means so this balance also zero, this balance also zero. So the final balance is only the same which we have mentioned here, 53 and so on. So no need for the adjustments of the terminal here like the previous example. Now mention the balance here. Initial outflow is equal to one lakh. 30,000, rest of it you can take it from here. Inflow for the year 1 is this much. Mention as the inflow. This is inflow. Inflow for the year 2 is this much. You can mention here as the inflow for the year 2. Inflow for the year 3 is this much. You can mention inflow for year 3 as well. Inflow for the year 4 should be taken from here. Why? Because sometimes we may need adjustment. Although in this example it is the same. But sometimes it might be different. So no need for the first year, so you can reduce the balance, right? So in this way, you can calculate the amount of... Okay. Uh, what is it called? Uh, now it's fine. So now the question is solved. So this is the initial outflow. And the inflow can be calculated in this way. Calculate the inflow. And of course, calculate the terminal and summarize it. So in order to go for the next chapter, inshallah, we need this data. Thank you so much.